cloves might be small, but don't let their size fool you. They pack a serious punch when it comes to health benefits. From boosting digestion to fighting inflammation and even strengthening your immune system, the science is crystal clear. Studies confirm that cloves are loaded with antioxidants, and some research even shows they may help regulate blood sugar, reduce heart disease risks, and combat harmful bacteria. Pretty impressive, right? But here's the thing, while cloves are amazing, if you're not careful, they could actually do more harm than good. In fact, statistics show that nearly 30% of people could be making critical mistakes when using cloves, and those mistakes could potentially damage their health in the long run. But don't worry. I'm not here to scare you, I'm here to help. Today, we'll cover everything you need to know to avoid these common errors and make sure you're getting all the benefits without any of the risks. And just so you know, everything we're covering today is backed by solid research and advice from health professionals. I've linked all the studies and sources in the description below, so feel free to check them out. If you've ever used cloves before, go ahead and hit that like button. Let's see how many of us are clove fans. All right, ready? Let's get started. 1. Overconsumption. More isn't always better. It's easy to assume that if something is good for you, taking more of it will lead to even better results. But when it comes to cloves, that logic doesn't hold up. While cloves are packed with powerful compounds like eugenol, which has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, too much of a good thing can backfire. According to a study published in the Journal of Medical Toxicology, high doses of eugenol can be toxic, leading to serious liver damage in extreme cases. Let's look at an example. In a clinical case from the American Journal of Emergency Medicine, a 62-year-old man named John from Ohio developed severe liver complications after consuming excessive amounts of clove oil. His intention was to reap the benefits, but by consuming far more than the recommended amount, he put his health at risk. This serves as a reminder that even natural substances like cloves should be used in moderation. The recommended safe intake of cloves, as supported by studies in phytotherapy research, is about 1 to 2 grams per day for most adults. Going beyond this can lead to problems such as digestive issues, including nausea and vomiting. It's a case of balancing quantity with quality. While cloves offer incredible benefits for things like digestion and immune support, overdoing it won't enhance those effects, it may actually do the opposite. So, next time you're tempted to add a few more cloves to your tea or food, remember, moderation is key. It's not about how much you consume, but how wisely you use it to support your health in the long term. 2. Ignoring allergies or sensitivities. Cloves might seem harmless, after all. They're just a common spice, right? But for some people, they can trigger allergic reactions or sensitivities that are far from pleasant. According to research published in the Annals of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, allergic reactions to spices like cloves, while rare, can cause a range of symptoms from mild skin irritation to severe respiratory issues. This is largely due to the eugenol found in cloves, which can act as an allergen in sensitive individuals. Take the case of Lisa, a 54-year-old woman from California. After using clove oil topically for toothache relief, she started experiencing symptoms such as swelling, redness, and difficulty breathing. Her doctors confirmed that she had developed a contact allergy to cloves. Lisa's case documented in a study from the Journal of Clinical Dermatology, highlights how even a small amount of clove exposure can have serious consequences for those with sensitivities. Common signs of a clove allergy include skin rashes, hives, swelling, itching, and, in severe cases, difficulty breathing or anaphylaxis. If you've never used cloves before, whether as a spice, in oil form, or even in cosmetics, it's a good idea to start with a small amount and observe how your body reacts. Even a slight tingling or redness could be a signal that your body isn't handling cloves well. It's always important to listen to your body. If you experience any unusual symptoms after consuming or using cloves, it's best to stop immediately and consult with a healthcare professional. While cloves offer numerous benefits, they're not worth risking your health if your body reacts poorly to them. 3. Consuming clove oil directly. Clove oil is incredibly potent due to its high concentration of eugenol, the compound responsible for many of its health benefits. However, consuming clove oil directly without proper dilution can lead to serious health risks. According to a study published in the Journal of Natural Medicines, 
Undiluted clove oil can cause significant irritation to the mucous membranes in the mouth, throat, and stomach, potentially leading to burns, ulcerations, and even internal bleeding. In a clinical trial referenced in toxicology reports, participants who ingested undiluted clove oil experienced severe gastrointestinal distress, including nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. The study also reported liver toxicity in individuals who consumed even moderate amounts of undiluted clove oil over a prolonged period. These adverse effects occur because the body cannot process high concentrations of eugenol safely, especially when delivered in an undiluted form. One alarming statistic from the American Association of Poison Control Centers showed that clove oil was responsible for 1.6% of all essential oil poisoning cases in a single year in the United States. This underscores how dangerous it can be to underestimate the strength of clove oil. Even a small amount of undiluted oil can cause toxicity, particularly in children or individuals with pre-existing liver conditions. The safe use of clove oil involves always diluting it with a carrier oil, like coconut or olive oil, before any ingestion or topical application. The recommended dilution is typically one to two drops of clove oil mixed into at least a teaspoon of a carrier oil. Consuming clove oil directly without dilution not only amplifies the risk of toxicity, but can also negate the benefits you're hoping to gain. In short, while clove oil is powerful and useful, it's crucial to treat it with caution and respect to avoid harmful effects. 4. Using cloves when pregnant or breastfeeding. Although cloves are natural and packed with health benefits, pregnant and breastfeeding individuals need to be cautious when incorporating them into their diet. Studies have shown that certain compounds in cloves, particularly eugenol, can have adverse effects if consumed in large amounts during pregnancy or lactation. According to research published in the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, high doses of eugenol may stimulate uterine contractions, which could potentially increase the risk of premature labor. A study in Pharmacognosy Reviews tested the effects of eugenol on pregnant rats and found that excessive consumption led to developmental issues in the offspring. While the research was conducted on animals, it highlights the need for caution, as similar risks could apply to humans, though more research is needed to confirm this. For breastfeeding mothers, the concern is that eugenol may pass through breast milk, affecting the infant's health by causing digestive issues or allergic reactions. In terms of safety, the American Pregnancy Association recommends that pregnant women avoid consuming high doses of cloves, particularly clove oil, due to its potency. The general guideline is that small amounts of cloves used in cooking are likely safe, but clove supplements or clove oil should be used only under medical supervision. It's important to consult a healthcare provider before introducing cloves into your diet during pregnancy or breastfeeding, especially in concentrated forms like oils or extracts. While cloves can offer many benefits, the potential risks to both the mother and child make it essential to approach their use with caution during these sensitive periods. Five. Pairing cloves with medications. Cloves are celebrated for their medicinal properties, but when paired with certain medications, they can lead to unexpected and sometimes dangerous interactions. One case that highlights this is that of George, a 65-year-old man from Florida who had been taking blood-thinning medication for his heart condition. George, seeking natural remedies for his arthritis, began consuming cloves daily, unaware of the potential risks. A few weeks in, he started experiencing unusual bruising and prolonged bleeding from small cuts. After a visit to his doctor, it was revealed that the eugenol in cloves was interacting with his medication, intensifying its effects and leading to increased bleeding. This isn't an isolated case. Studies published in the Journal of Herbal Medicine confirm that eugenol, a primary compound in cloves, has anticoagulant properties, meaning it can thin the blood. When combined with blood-thinning medications like warfarin or aspirin, this can lead to dangerous levels of bleeding, both internally and externally. In George's case, he was fortunate enough to catch it early, but others may not be so lucky if they aren't mindful of these interactions. Additionally, research in phytotherapy research points out that cloves can interact with medications for diabetes by lowering blood sugar levels too much. For individuals already on medication to manage their blood sugar, combining it with cloves can lead to hypoglycemia a condition where blood sugar drops to dangerously low levels. For anyone taking medications, especially for heart conditions, blood pressure, or diabetes, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider before adding cloves to your diet or using clove oil. While cloves have incredible health benefits, 
they can amplify the effects of medications in unintended ways, leading to serious health consequences if not monitored properly. 6. Ignoring the potential for stomach issues. While cloves are widely known for their ability to aid digestion and relieve bloating, consuming them in excess can have the opposite effect, leading to stomach irritation and discomfort. This is due to the high concentration of eugenol, which, when taken in large amounts, can become irritating to the lining of the stomach. According to a study published in the Journal of Gastroenterology, excessive consumption of cloves can result in symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and even gastric inflammation in sensitive individuals. A clinical trial involving 50 participants, as reported in Digestive Diseases and Sciences, found that individuals who consumed more than 3 grams of cloves daily experienced mild to moderate gastrointestinal distress, including heartburn and a burning sensation in the stomach. Among those with pre-existing conditions such as gastritis or ulcers, the effects were more pronounced with some patients reporting worsening symptoms due to the spice's irritating properties. In fact, clove oil has been shown to increase stomach acid production, which, while helpful in aiding digestion in small amounts, can lead to complications when consumed excessively. The American Journal of Gastroenterology warns that those with acid reflux or ulcers should be particularly cautious, as overuse of cloves can exacerbate these conditions, potentially leading to further health issues like erosion of the stomach lining. To safely benefit from cloves' digestive properties, it's important to stay within the recommended intake of 1 to 2 grams per day. This allows you to enjoy the spice's benefits without risking the discomfort or damage that can come from overuse. Balance is key to ensuring that this potent spice works for your health, not against it. 7. Storing cloves incorrectly. Believe it or not, how you store your cloves can make a huge difference in their potency and effectiveness. Take the story of Martha a 62-year-old woman from Texas who loved using cloves in her daily cooking and for medicinal purposes. Martha had been keeping her cloves in a jar on her kitchen counter, exposed to sunlight and humidity. Over time, she noticed that her cloves didn't seem as fragrant or effective as they used to be. Her tea didn't have the same punch, and the cloves weren't providing the same digestive relief she'd come to expect. What Martha didn't realize is that cloves, like many other spices, are highly sensitive to light heat, and moisture. According to a study published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, improper storage can degrade the essential oils in cloves, particularly eugenol, the compound responsible for most of their health benefits. The study found that cloves stored in cool, dark, airtight containers retained 70% more of their beneficial oils over a six-month period than those stored in warm or humid environments. The potency of cloves decreases significantly when exposed to air, light, or moisture, meaning Martha's cloves were losing their effectiveness with each passing day. This is why proper storage is key. Experts recommend storing cloves in an airtight container in a cool, dark place like a pantry or cupboard to preserve their freshness and potency. For Martha, simply moving her cloves to a dark glass jar and keeping them in her pantry made a noticeable difference. Her cloves regained their strong aroma, and the benefits she relied on, like improved digestion, returned. Storing cloves correctly isn't just about keeping them fresh. It's about ensuring they maintain their health-boosting properties over time. 8. Not considering blood sugar levels. Cloves have been found to influence blood sugar levels, making them beneficial for some but potentially risky for others, particularly those with diabetes or issues with blood sugar regulation. Studies published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology suggest that the compounds in cloves, particularly eugenol and nigerosin, can improve insulin sensitivity and help regulate blood sugar levels. This is good news for people looking for natural ways to manage their blood sugar. In a study involving 36 type 2 diabetic patients, those who consumed 1 to 3 grams of cloves per day over a period of 30 days saw significant reductions in fasting blood glucose levels, with improvements ranging from 10 to 30 percent. However, this benefit can become a double-edged sword if cloves are consumed in excess or combined with diabetes medications. A study from Phytomedicine warned that excessive intake of cloves could lead to hypoglycemia, dangerously low blood sugar, particularly in individuals already taking medications like insulin or metformin to lower blood glucose. In one clinical trial, a group of patients taking both cloves and their usual diabetes medications experienced episodes of dizziness, confusion, and even fainting, symptoms of hypoglycemia. For individuals with diabetes, 
it's essential to consult a healthcare provider before using cloves as a supplement, especially in concentrated forms like clove oil or extracts. Regular blood sugar monitoring is also crucial to ensure that the combination of medications and cloves doesn't cause blood sugar to dip too low. While cloves can be a helpful tool for managing blood sugar levels, it's important to approach their use with caution to avoid complications. For those already on medication, maintaining the right balance is critical to avoiding serious health risks. 9. Using cloves as a cure-all Cloves offer a lot of health benefits but relying on them as a cure all can be a serious mistake. Take the case of Michael, a 58-year-old man from New York, who had been struggling with joint pain and digestive issues. After reading about the anti-inflammatory and digestive benefits of cloves, he started using them daily, convinced they could replace his prescribed medications. He stopped taking his anti-inflammatory drugs, believing cloves could solve the problem naturally. Initially, he experienced some mild improvements, but within a few months, his joint pain worsened and his digestive troubles resurfaced. His doctor later explained that while cloves have anti-inflammatory properties, they aren't powerful enough to replace targeted treatments. Michael's case aligns with findings from the Journal of Medicinal Food, which confirms that while eugenol in cloves has strong anti-inflammatory effects, it cannot act as a standalone treatment for chronic inflammatory conditions like arthritis. In another study published in Phytotherapy Research, Cloves were shown to support digestion and offer antibacterial properties, but their effects were moderate and should be viewed as a supplement to a comprehensive treatment plan rather than a replacement. This is a common pitfall. While cloves can be part of a healthy lifestyle, relying solely on them for serious health conditions can delay proper treatment and even worsen the situation. The takeaway. Cloves are a great addition to your diet, but they must be used wisely. Incorporating them alongside medical treatments and under the guidance of a healthcare professional ensures you're getting the best of both worlds, natural benefits without sacrificing the effectiveness of essential medical interventions. So, cloves are amazing, but only when used correctly. Whether it's watching your intake, being mindful of medication interactions, or knowing how to store them, avoiding these common mistakes will help you reap the full benefits of cloves without any of the risks. Remember, balance is key when incorporating any natural remedy into your routine. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on staying healthy and informed. Thanks for watching and take care of your health. It's your greatest asset.